Hi folks, this is Dan from WebOS Roundup, and uh, this is part one of my video series covering the tips and tricks every WebOS user should know. Uh, if you would like to read our articles in more depth, you can visit our site at webosroundup.com. Um, I did a five-part video, uh, I did a five-part series of tips and tricks that I thought every WebOS user should know. And part one is going to cover very basic things. Uh, I'm just going to cover uh, the system and just the basics of the launcher. I think they're very important. Every WebOS user should know uh, these things. So if you consider yourself an experienced user, you might want to move on past this video. But if you're a beginner, you might find you might learn something here. So uh, the very first things um, that many uh, people say, sometimes people complain about having to a uh, slide to unlock. This is what I do, just to start to open the device. Just snick it right open like that, all right? So, uh, of course, that's the first thing. That, that one's easy. Or if your device is asleep while, you, while the, uh, while the uh, screen is off, you don't have to try and fiddle and touch this uh, power button right here. All you have to do is just push uh, any key to, to wake it up without having to slide anything. So that's, that's pretty easy to do. Um, other really cool things... Um, that you should know um, while I have the keyboard open you can uh, take a snapshot of, of, of your pre all you have to do is hit uh, orange or gray if you have a pre plus orange symbol oops orange symbol P just like that now nothing magical happens if I could steal that word from Apple nothing magical happens to tell you that uh, something happened um, the way you would find out is you'd go to your pictures app and now when you go to pictures, you're going to see that now you have a folder here called screen captures. So you tap that. Oh, dadgummit. Tap that. And now you have all the screen captures that you've done. So there's a picture that I took. There it is. Okay. So, so that's, the, that's a basic uh, trick that you can learn. Another thing you can do um, is you can hold down this button, orange, symbol, and R. And when you do orange, symbol, R, that resets the phone. So uh, that's a quick way. You don't have to do this business of holding down the power button until the menu pops out. None of that. If you just want to reboot, you just go control, symbol, R. I mean, I'm sorry, orange, symbol, R. I'm not going to do it here, obviously, because then I have to wait three hours for my pre to reboot. We all know about that, don't we? Um, another cool thing that you should know about, definitely every WebOS user should know about this, you should know that when you plug your pre into your computer, mm -hmm. you have the option of making this a flash drive. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. going to uh, pop up, and there it is, USB drive. Okay, this is the equivalent of those little uh, flash uh, keys that people carry and plug into the computer. It's exactly what it is. So, um... If I was to select USB drive, then my computer would pop up, uh, my, my pre would pop up here uh, in my computer. Let me go ahead and show you that. Oh, sorry, I'm going to my computer just trying to open up the folder. Okay. So there it is. You see where it says Palm Pre? I can double click that and now I have all the files on my actual pre so that's that's kinda neat you can you know you can drag videos music documents um, anything uh, this way so that's that's quite nice and then uh, if you if you have Windows the way I the way I like to eject it is uh, I have Windows XP still I just go to where it says eject and boom the device is ejected immediately. All right, so now I can go ahead and just unplug the computer. Goes doo -doo. All right. Oh, sorry. Okay, so that's that's that tip. Very important. Um, another fun little thing, I guess I'll I'll tell you. Well, actually, wait. Another very important thing that you should know is a um, little anatomy lesson on the pre. Um, despite what many people think. Um, the antenna for the phone um, and for the Wi-Fi is actually down here. Uh, I don't know if that applies to GPS. I'm actually not sure about that. But for Wi-Fi and phone, it's actually in the bottom half of the phone. So 
actually extending your phone acts like extending an antenna, so to speak, okay? Just like back in the days when you know when you had the old the old Motorola StarTac, you just pulled up the little um antenna. It's the same thing. Um I don't know if you can see there, but my um my my signal did improve to two bars when I did that. Um, it's not a placebo effect. This is real. This is uh, I see this consistently with Wi-Fi and with my phone signal. So that's something for you to do. Um, another uh, cool thing uh, that you um, should know is, um, and you can choose to use this if you want to or not, um, but it's called um, advanced gestures. And what advanced gestures are is a, just a quicker way of being able to navigate uh, your different um, your different. Uh, cards. So instead of zooming out uh, and then you know uh, doing this, all you have to do is just go over to screen and lock. Okay, and then down here where it says switch applications, advanced gestures, I turn it on. And so now instead of having just to zoom out like this, I can just run my finger along the bottom and I can just go directly from card to card to card. It's very nice, like if you're, you know, copying uh, and pasting text back and forth, uh, or if you just want to see an address and then, you know, input it in this card, stuff like that. Works very well, so that's that's what I like to use. Okay. Um, finally, the last thing I would tell you is if in the rare event that your phone crashes or the screen becomes unresponsive and you try to do the reset here with the keyboard like I taught you, but it doesn't work, what you can do is hold down the ringer switch and then go back and forth back and forth uh like two or three times uh with the, with uh with the ringer switch so hold on the power switch and then go back and forth the ringer switch uh like two or three times it looked like nothing happens at first and then all of a sudden the screen will fade um but i'm not going to do that now obviously because then uh we'll, we'll lose the phone uh for a little bit uh finally last thing i'm going to tell you is the launcher you really have to when if when you first get this device you have to really train yourself to use universal search like crazy okay and i'm i'm talking about using it to find i uh apps i'm telling you to use it to find uh, uh people um things on the internet so for example let's say i wanted to look up blue man group like they like palm just demonstrated in the ces so i go b l so automatically you see here that uh these different uh icons popped up for the apps and then uh, some of my contacts, okay. Um, if I kept typing, so I'm at B L U E. Bluetooth is the last thing that's left. Man, group. So now I've typed that. The phone hasn't found Blue Man Group anywhere else on the phone. So now it just gives me these options, okay. Make sure you do that. You don't have to open the browser to then go to Google to then type in your search. Just type your search, and instantly you'll find it. You can type. Google and boom the uh, browser card will come up and you're essentially done okay so that's that and what else can I tell you what else can I tell you oh yes um, so let's say you want to customize you know which apps you have down here you can do that just open your launcher hold down the icon that's in the quick launcher and move it up here let's say I want to move uh, oops Let's say I want to move email down here. Hold it, slide it down. There you go. All right. Last thing I'll teach you is if you want to delete an app, you just hold down, hold down the orange or the gray key, and then you tap an app. Okay. So you'll see here, this actually shows you the version. So in this case, is 1.3. It shows you the developer's name, who did it, the file size, and you have an option to delete. Now, I'm quite fond of Tweed, so I'm not going to do that. And that's it. So these are just very basic things that, again, I think every WebOS user should know. Um, my next uh, review, part two of Tips and Tricks, is uh, covers the phone and contacts, and that's probably a more important, um, uh, more important application there uh, of of things you should know. And uh, some experienced users might find that there's stuff in there that they don't know quite yet. So go ahead and tune in. This has been Dan from WebOS Roundup with tips and tricks every WebOS user should know, Part One. Thanks for watching.